nothing excites combat sports more than finishes. And in BJJ, there are tons of submissions to paint the mat with. The sport we love has seen athletes pull off crazy submissions over the biggest of names and on the grandest stage. Strictly brought to you is the best of the best of BJJ submissions. Even if you are not a BJJ expert, these submissions are what we want to see. They make the sport as exciting as it can be. These submissions have stood the test of time and will remain in the record books. These are the fastest, hardest, and best submission BJJ has to offer. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Kevin. I'm the owner of MMA BJJ Champ Channel. Listen, recently we have partnered up with a great company. They're called X Marshall. Honestly, if you think about buying rash guards, shorts, anything in relation to BJJ gear, this is what it looks like. It is so comfortable. The material is insane. They have so many different models on their website. This is just one of them. If you can't find what you like, you can create your own design also. So this is just a great addition for them, right? Also, I want to take a second to say that they do so much for the community. They are everywhere in the BJJ world. So look them up. And also, the company is great. If you want to buy BJJ gear, rash guard, shorts, anything, they're giving you 10%. Just use the link in the description below. All right? Let's go back to the video. Hope you enjoy. After ending the first matchup in a draw, the duel will face again in a much anticipated rematch of the decade. And before half the match time, Haja Gracie took Bucecha's back and submitted him via La Pilcha. In 2005, one BJJ gold grappler, Marcelo, fought Rico Rodriguez, who had more than 100 pounds on him. After getting slammed, Marcelo was still able to recover and get the finish via heel hook. The king, Gordon Ryan, cemented his legacy after not only dethroning but also submitting the reigning king, Andre Galvao, something no one has been able to do for eight years. Gordon Ryan has defeated Andre Galvao. 2022, PDCC saw the two youngest BJJ black belts battling to claim the record of the youngest ADCC champion. Tyro Tolo came out on top by submitting Mika Galvao via an inside heel hook, giving him his only submission loss. The 2005 ADCC Absolute Final saw a trilogy between two long rivals. After a controversial loss, Hodger served his revenge on Jakari by finishing him with a standing rear naked choke. One of the greatest upsets in BJJ happened in the 2019 ADCC semifinal when Uprising Falcon, Fionn Davies, armbarred BJJ woman's goat, Bia Mesquita, who refused to tap, leading to an injury. Another upset of the century was when undefeated ADCC champion Hoyler Gracie was submitted by a young Eddie Bravo. After being down on the cards, Eddie was able to summon everything to lock in an arm triangle. And it was over. It was over. The youngest female BJJ black belt took her status to another level when she pulled off one of the hardest submissions in BJJ, the Twister, also setting the milestone as the first Twister done in WNO history. Ever the exciting grab, Gary Tonin pulled off one of the fastest ADCC submissions in history on Nashville. In 15 seconds, Gary swiftly orchestrated a flying heel hook and ended the bout before it even began. Smokes! 15 seconds! 15 seconds! Felipe Andrew 
was on a roll in the IBJJF European Open Weight, finishing two of his three fights before meeting Keenan Cornelius. Then, he did quick work on him, getting the finish via a triangle armbar. What? What? Upcoming BJJ black belt, Asai Morita, sprung into wild celebration when he submitted ADCC vet Roberto Cyborg. This was done in less than two minutes. Using his skills to get the armbar finish. The second loss by submission from Mikey Musumichi came from Gabriel Sousa in the Who's Number One final in 2020. In a shocking display, Gabriel secured a North South chill to get the belt. Oh, he's got his hand he the It seems the WNO is a place for rare submissions, as Cade Rotolo decided to pull off one of the most advanced submissions, the Bucky Choke. Oh, minutes and 14 seconds after surviving an armbar attempt from natalie hibero for five minutes fion davies was finally able to reverse the position she unexpectedly took natalie's back and quickly went from the rear naked chip entering the eighth minute of the bout in a 2-2 draw maria malihasiak and isadora christina dug it out to see who would claim gold in the IBJJF Pan Gold Finals. Maria prevailed with the crucifix after numerous submission attempts. Oh, that's, that's going to be it! That's going to be it! She tapped! Maria! Maria Sack! Two upcoming stars from rival gyms went head-to-head -head in Who's Number One match. Luke Griffith didn't waste time showing Asai Morita that he does not belong on the mat with him with a 24-second inside heel hook finish. He exposed as a tap. And Luke Griffith wins. Before transitioning to Nogi, the number one gi jiu-jitsu grappler in the world met one of the big names in BJJ, Felipe Pena, in a quarterfinal at the IBJJF World Championship, where he submitted Pena via arm in Ezekiel. Walid Ismail gave the Gracies a run for their money, and one of them was Hoist Gracie. In a no point, no time limit bout, it took Walid 4 minutes 52 seconds to submit Hoist via a rear clock choke. Mikey Musumichi became a three times world champion in 2019, where he swiftly submitted. Romney Barbosa at 12 seconds. The ankle lock submission was one of the fastest IBJJF final submissions ever. After almost losing the fight to Gary Tonin, Kron Gracie had to dig up to get the victory. With less than a minute to go, Kron took the back, locked the rear naked choke, and squeezed till Gary tapped. Two legends in the sport, Bernardo Faria and Cyborg Abreu, faced each other once in the prime of their careers. The bout saw Cyborg trying to defend a Narbar attempt from Bernardo, but later giving his arm away. One of the new generation pioneers of leg locks, Dean Lister, showcased how dangerous heel hooks were in the ADCC semifinals in 2011 when he submitted. Rodolfo Vieira. One of the best gi grapplers, Nicholas Mirigali, produced an epic showdown when he clashed against Felipe Andrew. After much back and forth, Mirigali was able to get the victory by collar choke. The student and the teacher met on the mat. Gordon Ryan took Gary Tonin to school at ADCC, where he looked for the neck of his instructor and mercilessly choked him. Squeezing with that single arm and gets the submission. Gordon Ryan. 
The first IBJJF World Championship saw Roberto Roleta Magales and Walid Ismail battle it out for gold. After two triangle choke attempts, Roleta would later find Walid's neck via rear naked choke. Which of these legendary submissions will forever have a place in your heart? Let us know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video.